Hi, I'm Diane Hendricks and welcome to Fresh to Frozen and Back. This show is going to make your life easier. In each episode, I'm going to show you how to prepare delicious and wholesome meals, how to freeze them properly and then bring them back to the table at a later date. This show is all about marinades. This is really going to make your life easier. Okay, so I was trying to think of what would be something that would be really like a take home that would really help you out a lot. And I love marinades. We're all busy. You're busy, I'm busy, everybody's busy. To infuse flavor into proteins, you just need a little bit of a high quality, delicious ingredients, and then you just throw it in your protein, zip it up in a Ziploc bag, label it, and you can freeze it. And then as it defrosts, it's going to infuse more flavor in there. So here's all you do. What you really need is a Sharpie and a Ziploc bag. So if you look over here, I've got seven different pieces of chicken that I have marinated in seven different marinades and I'm going to show you how to make them. So all you need to do is you take your Sharpie and let's say we're going to do the um, cilantro lime. So we're going to write cilantro lime. We don't have to say whether it's chicken or pork or steak because you can tell by looking at it and the date. So we're just going to write the date. Okay. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of protein whether it's chicken or pork chop. Let's take this pork chop, it's easier to grab. You're gonna put this in the bag and then you're gonna make your marinade and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so let's start over here. Okay, so this one is General Cho. My sons, both my kids love it. So here's what it looks like when it's made. And all you do to make this particular one is you have a little bit of soy sauce, a little sesame oil, which gives it a nice toasty Asian type of flavor, some rice wine vinegar, some freshly minced garlic. There's nothing like freshly minced with marinades because that infuses right into that protein. Freshly grated ginger, you can use a lot, I like a lot of ginger. Some brown sugar, you can use dark brown sugar, light brown sugar, it doesn't matter. And some scallions. So this is kind of inspired by all the ingredients that are in General Cho's chicken, because my kids love that. And then, you're just gonna take this, I'm gonna add a little bit of this finishing oil, which is so good, the cortijo. And we're just gonna take this, and I'm gonna use this one as an example. You open the bag, you pour the marinade in. You can do this in bulk too. If you want to double, triple, quadruple the recipe and put more pieces of protein, that's fine as well. And then you seal it, you get the air out and you kind of move it around. And then what you can do is you can leave this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour, two hours, three hours, and then stick it in the freezer. And just to give you an example, here's a piece of chicken that had the general chose on it. This is frozen and as it defrosts, it infuses in there. Now, if your chicken is already frozen and you want to infuse some flavor in it, you can take this mar any of these marinades, put it into frozen chicken, and put it back in your freezer, and then as it defrosts, the marinade will infuse flavor in there. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, number two, we have a curry yogurt. Now, don't be intimidated by the yogurt. The yogurt is treated as an acid, and you want a little bit of acidic um, ingredients in a marinade, but you also want some type of oil which is going to drive in the flavor and balance out that acidity. So I'm using yogurt, honey, a little bit of honey. I love that for a little sweetness. Some lime juice and some curry powder. So good. A lot of people, you either like curry or you don't like curry. 
And then you do the same thing with the bag. You pour it into the bag and that becomes your marinade. And here's, if you have any left over, you can just stick it right in the freezer. You can use this as a condiment as well. If you're going to, all of these are for baking in the oven, but if you're going to grill any of these, you're gonna to wanna to take off the excess marinade. But for baking, you can actually bake all of this chicken in the marinades, which is really good. Okay, here we have Korean barbecue. So again, inspired by Korean barbecue, we have some soy sauce, some freshly uh, minced garlic, rice wine vinegar, I'm going to do a hit of allspice, which gives it a nice flavor. Again, with a little bit of honey. And we have some onion powder. And then I'm using gochujang. And gochujang is a Korean red pepper paste that is so wonderful. It's fermented. There's a ton of health benefits to the fermented products from South Korea. There's doenjang and gochujang and samjang. And this uh, gochujang is a very, um, a very popular uh, paste. You can find it in the Asian market at just about any supermarket. And then you're gonna take that and you're going to, here it is done, and you're going to put that into, oh, we can't forget the olive oil because we are using extra virgin Cortijo olive oil, finishing oil from the Abaquina olive in Spain, flavorful, robust, unbelievable. You've never had olive oil like this before. Okay, now here we go with, this is a mint citrus. So we're going to use some uh, finely chopped mint, which is really good and it just gets right in there. I have a combination of orange juice, grapefruit juice, and lime juice here. And simple as this, just some, um, some more garlic. Now again, like I always say, when you have a recipe, you want to use that as a guideline, but if there's things that you don't like, if you don't like mint, use basil. If you don't want garlic, don't use it. Just use whatever flavors you want. Any dressing, like vinaigrette type of dressing, can double as a marinade and triple as a sauce. So you make your dressing, you can marinate your meats in it or vegetables or whatever you want in it. And then if you want to use it as a sauce, you just take your dressing and you just reduce it down in a small pan on top of the stove where a, a little bit of the liquid evaporates and it becomes a little thicker and then you can use it as a sauce. So think about marinades, think about dressings and marinades as like double and quadruple duty. Okay, same thing there. All right, moving on. Okay, now over here we have, what is this one? Okay, this is an orange ginger soy. So here's what it looks like finished. And it's simple, we have freshly squeezed orange juice. If you have, you know, orange juice in your refrigerator, that works fine. Freshly grated ginger. The beauty of freshly grated ginger, you know, ginger and garlic that's been minced, like the grated ginger or the minced garlic, you can make that in bulk and it freezes beautifully. So you can take three or four bulbs of garlic, peel all the cloves, and then stick them all in a food processor and get them really, really, really small. Just lay that all that minced garlic on a baking sheet, stick it in the freezer, and once it's frozen, just break it all up and stick it in a Ziploc bag, label it, and put it in your freezer. I always have freshly grated ginger that way and freshly grated garlic that way in my freezer so I don't have to cut every time. I just go in, I snap off a piece of frozen uh, grated uh, minced garlic and I just throw it into my recipe and it really works great. So again, we have orange juice, we have ginger, just a tiny hit of soy, and then some red pepper flakes, which I love, I love spicy heat. And then again, more of the cortilla olive oil, so good. And that olive oil is a mechanism that helps drive these flavors into the flesh of the protein. So, and there's that one. Two more. One goes in a blender, and you're gonna love this one if you love this dressing as much as I do that store bought at the, that you can buy at the store. Okay, now this is a cilantro lime. I love cilantro and lime, you can't go wrong. And cilantro, you know, love, hate it. My mother hates cilantro. Um, there's actually some kind of a, I don't know if it's a gene or a receptor on your tongue that you either hate cilantro, it tastes like dirt or soap, or you absolutely love it. I'm on the right, I'm on the second uh, end of that. I love cilantro, I can never have enough. And freshly uh, gr uh, garlic, freshly minced garlic, lime juice, and olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil, so yummy. 
okay? And the quality of the ingredients that you use when you're cooking and even marinating makes a big difference because you can taste it once it infuses into the uh, into whatever you're marinating. Now, I wouldn't use these long term for fish or anything, but you can do about 15 minutes to a half an hour tops for any type of fish in any of these marinades. But then you want to get it out because that acid may eat up into the uh, shrimp or the fish or whatever you're using. Cortillo Trofias is 100% first cold pressed Arbequina Premier Extra Virgin Olive Oil. With more than 1,500 acres of olive plantations situated in Castilla La Mancha, Spain at 700 meters above Mediterranean sea level. The complete company is owned and operated modern state of the art olive mills with the very latest technological advances. The Arbequina olive is the top olive in Spain for the production of extra virgin olive oil. It has a buttery, fruity flavor and is highly aromatic. This premier product has less than 0.1% acidity and is smooth with no bitterness. It is a great premier finishing oil, good for dipping, salads, light cooking, and a perfect garnish for fish, meats, and vegetables. Due to its delicate nature, this extra virgin olive oil should never be overheated, only cooked slow and lightly. This extra virgin olive oil is available in over 60 international marketplaces and has been awarded many medals in many extra virgin olive oil international competitions. The product is available in the United States exclusively at International Specialty Foods of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and can be purchased online at www.insfoods.com in 250 milliliter and 500 milliliter bottles at $14.95 and $20.50 per bottle delivered. It's soon to be available on Amazon. In these episodes of Fresh to Frozen and Back, the olive oil that I'm using is extra virgin olive oil, Cortillo Trafias. Okay, last but definitely not least, you know that Vidalia onion dressing that you can buy in the bottle? I know you know what it is. It is so good. So I kind of made a homemade version of it and it really is delicious. So this is all it is. This is the one that goes in a blender, but you make it in bulk because it freezes as a, it all freezes great. So we've got some onion, garlic, some paprika, honey, some turmeric, which is gonna give it a really nice color. Some Dijon mustard. Just a little hit of Dijon mustard. And some rice wine vinegar. And we're gonna blend that all up. And again, you can double this, triple this, quadruple this, whatever works the best. Now we're going to add the olive oil. You want to get it nice and blended up, but it's okay if there's a couple of chunks. And it's ready. So good. I have a little bit extra turmeric in there, which is why it is so orange. But if you use a little bit less, it won't be as orange, but it tastes amazing. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up all these little bowls, leave all the marinades, and then show you how to freeze everything. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly run through these and write down what we have here. So we have curry yogurt. And that goes nice with chicken, so I'm gonna put the chicken in that one and the date. And then here we have um, Korean barbecue. You just write the name on there and the date. And then here we have cilantro lime. And then we have uh, citrus mint, or citrus mint. And we have um, Vidalia. And what else do we have here? We've got General Cho. Oh no, we did the General Cho already. We've got the Vidalia, and then what am I missing? Okay, what do we have? Oh, we have orange ginger soy. Okay, 
So once you've labeled all your baggies, then all you're going to do is take your protein and put it in the bag. So we'll start with the steak, and I think the Korean barbecue will go the best with the steak. And we'll take the Korean barbecue. You just stir it up after you've made it. Then you just dump it in the bag. Oh, it smells so good. And the flavor you get, and the beauty about this is you can do this like, before you go to work, whip one of these up. There's like five ingredients. You don't even really necessarily have to like have like a recipe. Just go through your spice cabinet, add some of the really good quality oil, and then just make it happen. Okay. Then we're going to do the pork chop, and we are going to do the pork chop with, I'm gonna say the, I'm gonna do the, which one do we, the Vidalia onion. Oh, I have citrus mint here. We're gonna do the citrus mint. That's this one. Okay. And we have the orange ginger soy. Cilantro lime. We'll do the cilantro lime with the pork. That's this one. Now you see all those chunks of cilantro? That's gonna have such an infusion going on in there. You see how simple it is? And like I said, double it, quadruple it, triple it, whatever you want. And wait till you see how beautiful it looks. Then we've got the curry yogurt, which is great with chicken. And then this one, you're gonna have to try to stand it up and just kind of hold it open, so. And again, remember, if you're using the yogurt on the grill, you wanna make sure you get that yogurt off because you don't want hot spots and flame ups on your grill. And once you use anything that has this thickness, you're gonna squeeze it into it. So get the air out, then push down on it and get that into the, you wanna get it all into your protein because you want that flavor over the entire piece of protein. There, that's good. That's the curry yogurt. And it takes a second, because you can see on the corner that that doesn't have any. So you really want to get it in there. And last but not, not last but not least, we have the orange ginger soy. And what do we have here? The orange ginger soy would be great with the chicken. And that's it. So you're going to take all of these and you're gonna line them up. And if you look right here, these are all done already. And again, you just defrost them. You can leave them in the refrigerator to defrost, or you can put them, if you want, you can put them in some cold water for about a half an hour and they should defrost immediately. And don't forget that you can add these flavors to frozen proteins and just throw it, take it out of the freezer, throw these in there and then while it's defrosting, it's going to infuse the flavor. So check this out. This is all it is. You just lay them on a sheet, stick them in the freezer, and when you want to grab and go dinner and you need a quick meal on the table, you've got it. Thanks for watching Fresh to Frozen and Back. I'm Diane Hendricks. Please share this episode with those that you love or you think will enjoy it. Follow me on social media. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, DianeHendricks.com is my website. And tune in next time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you.